okay, this table. So just now, we learned that uh, if you see the diagram, uh, okay, that related to these transfers of electron through a distance, the very first thing is uh, to identify the oxidizing and reducing agent, right? Okay, let's see uh, what are the oxidizing or reducing agent uh, uh, that always uh, come out. First is the halogens. Halogens. Always remember the halogens are oxidizing agents. Since halogens are oxidizing agents, then the halides, uh, the halides will act as a reducing agent because halogens receive electrons to form halide, halide uh, release electrons to form halogens again. So halogen is oxidizing agent, then the halide must be the reducing agent. Uh. But halide is a very weak reducing agent. Uh. Halogen is a very strong oxidizing agent. Okay, strong oxidizing agents, weak reducing agents. Huh? Second, metal. Metals, all metals are reducing agent. And uh, then the ion of the metal will be the oxidizing agent. Huh? Metals, uh, most of the metals are strong reducing agent, but the ions of the metals are weak oxidizing agent. Huh? Oh, you, can, you can write here, this is strong. Strong, uh, these are oxidizing agents, oxidizing agent, oxidizing agent, okay? And this is weak, redu uh, oxidizing agents, or oh, this is, sorry, this is reduction, re uh, reducing agents, and uh, this is weak, uh, reducing agent, okay? So halogen, oxidizing agent, uh, metals, reducing agent, eh? okay? The next thing that you need to know is iron 3 and iron 2, eh? iron 3 and iron 2 so iron 3 can be reduced to iron 2 uh, so therefore it's oxidizing agent uh. okay it undergoes reduction so it's oxidizing agent iron 2 uh, can be oxidized to become iron 3 okay so therefore it's reducing agent first halogen second metal third is iron 2 and iron 3 iron 3 is the oxidizing agent and iron 2 is the reducing agent okay and then uh, this Okay, you can see there's a big groups of oxidizing and reducing agent here, right? Okay, these are the oxidizing agents that we have uh, learned before. Potassium manganate, potassium dichromate, hydrogen peroxide, and concentrated nitric acid. This one not important, eh? okay? And then I ask you to memorize the uh, four uh, reducing agents, okay? Commonly used in uh, reducing agents, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, sodium sulfide aqueous, and uh, tin 2 chloride aqueous. Okay, and uh, you must memorize this okay now for uh, this metals ion halogens and ions uh, iron three ions all these uh, you need to know the half equations okay you need to know how to write the half equations uh, okay but for this uh, potassium magnet uh, or this potassium dichromate uh, uh, they seldom ask you to write the half equations usually they won't ask you to write the half equations uh, okay of course if you have time okay uh, you, can, you can try to memorize it uh, but you really short of time, then you can skip the half equations uh, for this, okay? Because it seldom come out. But for the ha the half equation for this uh, metals, ion, halogens, all these, uh, then you must know how to write. Uh. You must memorize uh, the oxidizing agent and reducing agents so that, okay, when you see the questions related to this uh, transfers of electron through a distance, you can straight away tell which one is the oxidizing agent and which one is the reducing agent.